Hello, Scienceville United Methodist Church and friends. Each week, we are sharing a prayer for a particular group of people or a particular season of life. If this prayer fits where you are today, we hope it blesses you. And if you know someone who needs this prayer, we hope you pass it on. And if you desire to join with others in prayer about something, you're welcome to join us tonight at the church at 530 for a short time of prayer, no more than 15 minutes. Today, our focus is setting up the Christmas tree and I'll be sharing a prayer from every moment holy. Oh, Emmanuel, we find in our traditions these reminders of the wonders of your love. First, let this fragrant tree cut down and then raised beneath our roof remind us how once upon a time the high king of heaven consented to be cut off from the glories that were his birthright and descended instead to dwell with us in a broken world beset by harm and evil. Next, let the hardwood of the trunk and the outstretched branches remind us that the same heavenly king who would enter our world on that distant night would soon act to redeem his creation and his people in it. Though it would require the stretching out of his arms upon a cross of wood, his death for our life. Then let these evergreen boughs be a reminder of his mighty triumph over death and hell, of his resurrection unto a life eternal which will never fade, an eternal life which he has also secured for us. There is no greater gift. Finally, as we drape the branches of this Christmas tree in glittery finery and sparkling lights, let us imagine Christ our King, seated upon his heavenly throne, arrayed in the royal remnants of his glory. And when at last we set the star on top of the Christmas tree, let us imagine Christ crowned in his splendor and all the creatures of the earth bowing before him, crying, holy, holy, holy. Glory to you, Emmanuel. Worthy are you, O Lamb of God, to receive all glory and honor and praise. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Amen.